whatever. And it's going to snow, yeah. apparently. <laughs> it's good. Because that that's, makes sense in April. Now, normally it only snows in April in Toronto, which is where we're going to head for our first little diatribe here, Arash. <laughs> she, dear listener... Should I blame my girlfriend for cheating, even though she did not cheat on me, but merely saw Austin Matthews score 51 goals in 50 games? <laughs> Should I break up with her? I'll hang up and let you know. Well, you got to really weigh the pros and cons. Like, how, you know, how engorged was she watching the program? Was she eyeing up Austin Matthews like a hot plate of macaroni and cheese that just scored 58 goals on the year? Because if so, then you might have to move on, bro. Uh, we got some Dua Lipa coming up here on Virgin Radio. Uh, we got 19 <laughs> hours of straight Dua Lipa. <laughs> Do you like the Dewey, Doobie Brothers? Because we got one of them. <laughs> anyway, here's Pretty Pleased by Dua Lipa for the 90th time. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Wasn't Future Nostalgia so good, even though it was released in like 2019? Let's go again. <laughs> Um. Yeah. No. That's that's great. I'll say. Well, yeah. Yes. Austin Matthews. I think. Man. We I need... just knew. Sorry. I just knew when this happened that I was. I. I think I got so exhausted when he, he did this <laughs> that I was like, I'm gonna have to fucking talk about this. Yeah. Like. Okay. Great. Good. That's wonderful. Can we put he... a disclaimer at the top? Being like, he's having an incredible year. Probably one of the best goal scoring years in, well, literally 25 I don't... years. Can I say one thing? I don't care if Austin Matthews scores 200 goals in a single season. Until he can beat the Boston Bruins, <laughs> none of this matters. No, yeah. this is this is the same. None of this stuff matters. Yeah, 100%. Ovi, what was the same con- con- conversation with Ovi? It was like, okay, that's great. You're a killer goal scorer. Sidney Crosby's beat, got something to say about that. Yeah, can you beat the Pens? Yeah. Beat the Pens. And then we'll, we'll talk. And... I mean, I know it's it's a little uh, Ovechkin and and Matthews are, are a little different, but it's like, uh, yeah, what he's accomplished at least in the modern era within you know a, a, a span of games is a bit unheard of. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Um, great for him. That's an amazing accomplishment. Something that I don't think. I don't think any of us would have really like. I don't think a lot of pe- uh, people realize what they've witnessed, especially since it, you know, it's it the the meter hasn't started from, you know, day one of the season, so people mm-hmm. can keep track, right? Um, but yeah, it's 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 an amazing amazing accomplishment, and I'm really stoked, uh, you know, for t- Toronto fans. I mean, I know it's been probably a little rough, you know, they've they've had a a, a weak go of things, and it's really weird for us to go and give sympathy to. Toronto Maple Leafs fans, but Megan Kennedy, you know, she she expects us to uh, be unbiased, and you know, I'm telling you, Meg Star, Meg Meg Star Runner, hey hey hey, yeah, come on, it's hope, come come on, oh it's truck door, remember truck door, Ryan, oh, I hurt my foot, oh Team no, Team Girl Squad, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think it was wild yeah. to look back and think like. Matt Sundin never scored 40 goals. Like, this hadn't happened since... 40 goals? Dale Howardchuck did it in, like, 94 on that team that the Canucks beat. Like, I kind of... That, yeah, they deserve a 40-goal score. I mean, well, we've had one. <laughs> Ryan Kessler. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Well, yeah, I mean, that's. I think it comes down to... That's what it kind of comes down to. It's like, okay, great. Like, you knew he's a great goal scorer. You know he's really elevated himself in that way um but again like they're great you're gonna have a rocket richard trophy at the end of this great uh patrice bergeron's you still gotta beat him <laughs> i don't know if you've looked at the standings as of late but it's, it's you- gonna happen dude i <laughs> i the two things i'm most stoked on yeah. is one is toronto boston yes round one. two is the potential of Tampa, Florida. The Florida Man series. That which, that's which the Stanley, little... that to me, to me, is the Stanley Cup final. Yeah, I'd those say, I'd two say teams so. will murder it. if this if that series doesn't go to a game eighteen. <laughs> I swear. I don't know. I don't know. 
Those bolts are going to be tired, man. They're already tired. <laughs> Dude, they're exhausted. Apparently, well, that's the... Them's the rumors. Them's <laughs> the rumors. Is The bolts are tired. Um, but yeah, well, what else? I'm trying to think of other storylines or other things within... Uh, within the Eastern Conference playoff well, picture? East- well, Eastern... I mean, the the East is kind of set. Like, the there's East no... has been set since Christmas. Yeah. And it's like... Oh, maybe the Islanders or the Jackets can sneak in. They're only nope. 15 points back. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's not going to happen. They're not going to work for me, brother. Not going to work for me, brother. Um, they've been set for a long time. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think about it like round one, like another uh, thing for round one would be Tampa, Carolina. Oh. Like that. See, the, 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 the East is nuts because everyone in the East, and like then you think of like a team like the Rangers. Whom no one are really talking about, but I'm like, you know, uh, Igor Shosturkin has a 9.35 save percentage. Like, just there's a lot of guys that can score goals on that team. That's pretty good. Mika Zibanejad, he's a DJ. Did you know that? They got Ryan uh, Reeves. He's a tough guy. Yeah, he'll very be, effective. You in the know, playoffs. CBC will be talking about him. Hey, can, every hey Scotty, panel. Scotty, you've been in the hot tub with this body. Come on, Scotty. Yeah. And then Ron, Ron McLean comes by. It's like, you know, I'd, I'd never, you know, it, it's interesting. Uh, the first person of the uh, indigenous uh, uh, clans of the Western Ontario guilds that I saw were related to one Ryan Reeves. And Ryan has a, uh, a tattoo of a feather. And that feather was given to me by Chief Dan George, whom uh, told me I was the greatest Canadian. And I'm not bragging, but daddy, that's the way it is. Now taking us out the tragically happy. It's like what the? F- <laughs> like I don't even know what. Everyone, where did that come from? I don't even know. <laughs> um, much respect and love to Chief uh, to the to the uh, to Chief Dan George. If the yeah, uh, if the playoffs started yeah. today, um, the Toronto Maple Leafs would place Andre Vasilevsky and the Tampa Bay Lightning, who um, I wouldn't bet on or I wouldn't bet against. And yep. if if a couple uh, a couple of a couple of Pole positions move. You've got the Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first round. You know, like that's. I think that is. That's the dance. Like that's the. There's no other round one matchup. I think. Like I know you could probably say sexier in terms of on ice product. No. But it's just in terms of narrative. It's like okay, I I'm just gonna be okay. You scored fifty one to fifty. Now do this. Yeah. Like you see that demon there? Slay it. <laughs> I don't care. This stuff is nice. Good for you. You see Taylor Hall, new lease on life, forever a Bruin. He's gonna kill you, man. Like you know, it's like if you if Brandon Carlo is gonna be if if Brandon Carlo is gonna beat you again, (laughs) you know, uh, if Jeremy Swayman, this man, who has a bromance with Lena Zolmark, and they have this adorable little uh, giant hug after every game. Um, I mean, I'm. You know, Ryan, I'm thinking, I'm like, how, like, Patrice Bergeron is going to be on you. Like a Rashma Marzadeh at a buy buy one, get one free sale at EB Games. <laughs> and I'm just trying to think, okay, like, what are you going to do when Austin Matthews, like, e- either Austin Matthews is going to be like, okay, I'm going to score. Or the probably the greatest one I would say arguably one of the greatest defensive centers in history. Oh, no question. Didn't you see the stat? Somebody tweeted out that like they went through all the Selkie votes since like t- the last ten years or whatever, and ninety one percent of them had uh, Patrice Bergeron's name on him. Like he beat is two hundred Austin, foot- uh, Austin beat him. Go Austin, <laughs> do that. That. That's the crazy thing, because if they do, then his in- it's crazy. It's like doubling down, right? Yeah. So if they if he can go if and lead the Maple Leafs over the Bruins in round one, then that fifty one and fifty, it almost like becomes valid. It's like, oh yeah. Oh my god, did you know that? That's amazing. And they beat the Bruins. Good. If, if they beat the Bruins a rash, it now it no longer becomes fifty one and fifty. Now it becomes fifty one and thirty eight. He no, is he decreed might. the greatest hockey player of all time. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think in round one, man. That that's, is the that, in terms of narrative, that's like the biggest one. Arash, like coming from a broadcasting background, that is every director, every producer, every 
anybody in a truck, that is their wet dream because you could go to any Toronto Maple Leaf on the bench in the slightest moment of struggle or uh, of you know setback or on mm-hmm. and it, like you could you could write an essay about the look on their face in that moment. Yeah, and nobody would blink an eye. You got to wonder what Austin Matthews <laughs> thinking about there. He just lost a defensive zone draw to Patrice Bergeron. Per- you Patrice have to think. Bergeron is is French folks for 200 foot game. Everybody knows that. Oh my god, Ron McLean. <laughs> the more I have to think about listening to Ron McLean, the more I'm just like, do I want to be a hockey fan anymore? Ron, it, it, I, uh, Ron McLean might be the reason I leave hockey one day. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> I hate you. Now. I'll never talk to you again. See you next week. <laughs> I'll see you at 7 o'clock. I'll see you at 7 o'clock, bro. <laughs>